a massive amount of sequence data needs to be generated in order to obtain sufficient coverage in whole genome sequencing. With targeted sequencing, either sequence capture or sequence enrichment, less sequencing is needed overall, while the regions of interest are sequenced at sufficient coverage. The analysis of targeted data is largely similar to that of whole genome data, but there are some important differences. This presentation will cover the analysis of targeted sequence data using NextGene software. I'm John McGuigan, and I'm a biologist at Soft Genetics who works with NextGene. First, a brief overview of current targeted sequencing technologies. There are five main targeted sequencing technologies currently available, NimbleGen, HybeSelect, SureSelect, RainDance, and Axis Array. Some of these have been optimized by the manufacturer to work with certain next-generation sequencing systems, but protocols may exist for using unofficial combinations. NextGene can work with data from any of the three main next-generation sequencing systems. Each capture system has its own advantages. It may require less sample DNA. It may be better for multiplexing to capture several samples at once. It might have a faster processing time or might have a larger capacity. There are essentially two different approaches to targeted sequencing. The first is sequence capture. Targeted sequences are captured through hybridization to oligomers, either on an array or in solution. The captured sequences are then separated from the remaining DNA and amplified before sequencing. Arrays are washed while in solution systems use streptavidin coated beads to capture the biotinylated oligomers and the fragments that are bound to them. Library prep and sequencing varies depending on the capture technology. As mentioned on the last slide, some capture systems are optimized to work with certain sequencing systems so that this step is simpler. For instance, the sequencing primers might be added before capture. The second approach is sequence enrichment. Multiplex PCR is used to amplify targeted regions directly rather than capturing the sequence prior to PCR like the other systems. Raindance sequence enrichment and Fluid Digim Axis Array both use this strategy. The processing of targeted sequencing data in NextGene will be covered first, then important issues will be covered in more detail. These are the recommended hardware requirements for NextGene. A 64-bit Windows operating system. Vista or Windows 7 are best, but XP also works. Dual quad-core processors. A 1TB hard drive and 12 GB of RAM, although more RAM may be required in some cases. A computer with this hardware should cost around $3,500. The workflow for any targeted sequencing analysis is going to be the same, regardless of the sample or sequencing technology. The basic process is three steps. Format conversion, alignment, and visualization of the results. The data is quality filtered and converted to FASTA format, or CS FASTA for solid data, using the format conversion tool. The data is then aligned to the reference, and NextGene Viewer is used to look at the results and save reports. There are a few optional steps that can help. An initial alignment can be performed to assess how well the capture performed, and whether any setting adjustments need to be made based on the rebalance, the number of duplicate reads, the coverage, etc. For Illumina or solid sequencing system data with sufficient coverage, the condensation tool can be used to remove sequencing errors, lengthen reads, and reduce overall data volume for faster processing. With certain parameters, it can be used to combine duplicate reads and single reads in order to remove PCR bias that may occur with some capture systems. It can also be used to correct errors with 454 power sequencing data. When NextGene is first run, the Project Wizard is open. The Project Wizard provides an easy-to-use point-and-click interface for setting up a project. The first panel in the Project Wizard is the Application Settings panel. First, select the instrument type. Next, select SNP and Dell Discovery for the application type. Aside from DeNovo Assembly, which may or may not be useful, none of the other application types are used with targeted data. Next, select the appropriate steps depending on the workflow, and click Next. Before processing, the data files need to be converted to FASTA format with the Format Conversion tool. This tool can be opened from the Tools menu or from the Format Conversion button above the Sample Files window on the Load Data screen. 
the Format Conversion tool is very easy to use. First, sample files are loaded, usually SFF files for Roche data, FASTQ files for Illumina data, or CSFAST and QUAL files for solid data, although additional formats are supported. After loading samples, the output directory is set, and the desired quality filtering steps are selected. Solid data should be kept in CSFAST the format using the CSFAST to CSFAST setting while using the QUAL files to perform quality filtering. Click OK. All of the reads are saved in FAST files as converted or removed. The next settings panel after application settings is the load data panel. First, the file with successfully converted reads is loaded as a sample. Targeted data should be aligned to a preloaded whole genome reference rather than a reference of the captured regions in order to avoid reads mapping in their region of interest when they may more accurately match to other areas of the genome. A color space version of the reference is needed for alignment of CSFAST files. Set the output folder and click Next. NextGene's whole genome alignment algorithm has three main steps. It uses a reference pre-index with the Burroughs-Wheeler transform. First, the program attempts to match every read perfectly, then with some mismatches. If a read aligns perfectly at multiple positions, they are ambiguous alignments. The read will be aligned to all of them unless the maximum number of ambiguous positions is exceeded. After that, the unmatched reads are broken into seeds of a certain size every few base pair. The seed is checked for perfect matches. If one is found, then the entire read is compared. Seeds also have a maximum ambiguous alignment setting. Alignment settings are adjusted on the next panel. The Inspect Input File button will automatically suggest the seed size and a move step. Lowering these numbers, with a minimum of 12 and 1 respectively, will allow shorter reads, or reads with more mismatches to align, but it will increase processing time. At least some percentage of the read, the matching base percentage setting, must match the reference in order for the read to align. The mutation filter sets the minimum requirements for a mismatch to be called as a variant. It must occur in some percentage of reads at that position, the position must have a certain level of coverage, and the variant must appear a certain number of times. Paired data can be loaded so that pairs will preferentially map within the library size. However, paired information is lost if consolidation is used or if duplicate reads are removed. After a project is set up, it can be run immediately or more projects can be created in order to run them all consecutively, which is very useful for multiple samples and for processing data overnight. 